Hi, I'm Ms. Leon Berger, um, and today I'm going to be talking about how to add captions to your videos on YouTube. So just as an example, I recorded a quick little video um, of my pet bearded dragon. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to upload it into YouTube, wait for auto-generated captions to form, and then edit those auto-generated captions um, to make real captions um, on the YouTube editing platform. Okay, so you are going to start by uploading your video onto YouTube. You can do that by clicking this little um, camcorder plus button and then go to upload video. It'll take you here. Over here on videos, there's my video. And then it's going to take you to this screen. All right, so depending on how long your video is, um, it's going to take a little bit to process. Mine was very short, so it didn't take very long at all. You can tell it's done processing because now there's a little screen capture of it. Um, title and description go here. Scrolling down, I'm going to click on more options and show you guys um, down here for language, subtitles, and closed caption. Make sure you're on English. Um, I changed my certification to this content has never aired on television in the US. I'm not really sure why they ask that question. I'm sure if I knew more about um, this process than what I need to get by, I would know, but I don't. I normally just do this because I, I really I want I want them to make my auto-generated captions because that's what we're gonna be working from here. So Yes, is it made for kids? No, if it made for kids. Again, you're going to be ripping this later. It doesn't really matter. So, doot. And then, yes, save. So now it is going to basically right now what we're doing is we're just posting the video on YouTube. We're just getting it live. Um, to get ready for this next step. So here you can see now it's added to my channel and because I can see the full color um, I know it's it's ready to go All right, I have just uploaded my video um, to edit it I just hover over it and then click this pencil to go to details To get to captions. I'm gonna go here to more options and scroll down now notice that right now there isn't any track. That's going to be important. Um, I just uploaded this, so there isn't anything there yet. So like I already mentioned, we're going to be using YouTube's auto-generated captions to make our own uh, captions. So first we got to wait for the magic of YouTube to happen. Uh, we got to wait, got to give it a couple minutes um, for YouTube to upload their own automatic captions. So. Okay, it's been about a half an hour and um, my uh, auto-generated file has magically appeared on YouTube. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, actually something really weird happened, so check this out. So here uh, is my channel from the editing side with all my beautiful videos. And as you can see, um, when I click on details for this Eli video and I go to more options and come down here, I was right that the auto-generated captions have showed up, but for some reason they're in Korean. And when I click on it, I thought, maybe that's a typo. No, it's Korean. And so I went back. This is all, this is all in real time, people. I tried again. I thought, I don't know why I did that. I said the language was English, so I, I uploaded it again. And then my auto captions came in and I was very excited and Korean. So I'm just gonna show you this process on a different video. <laughs> Luckily, I have lots of videos of my bearded dragon. So here's one that we can use, um, Eli's Friday hat. So remember, we're gonna click the pencil to get to this screen. We're gonna go to more options and again normally if you wait a while and you've said your video is in english eventually english by youtube automatic uh, captions will show up so when you click it then you're going to say edit on classic studio and this is the screen that pops up 
So this is another um, short video, just a couple seconds long. I don't say much. Um, what we're gonna do is we are going to edit these captions that they've already automatically generated. As soon as you edit it, it is now going to be a track, a captions track for English. Um, but using this transcript, these auto-generated captions that they already made, it's nice because you don't have to type it all up from scratch, so it's pretty nice. All right, so let's see what their auto-generated captions look like. Eli, it'll make the kids happy to see you wearing the hat. So this is a great example um, of how the auto-generated captions on their own is not the best. Um, it heard me say Eli, but it thought I said Ol. Uh, e okay. <laughs> As you can see, this is all just sort of silly nonsense. Um, but it, it can be easier than nothing. So let's go back. Now that we know that's definitely something that needs to be edited, let's go back and listen to what I'm actually saying. Eli, it'll make the kids happy to see. Okay, so it thought I said ill like, but I actually said Eli. So I'm editing it over here, and the changes are happening over here. All right, so let's let's take a look. We can scroll back here, or we can scroll back down here. Okay. Eli, it'll make the kids happy to see you wearing the hat. Okay, I don't know why they capitalized hat, but that bothers me. And also, notice that I have a pause here. I paused for a while after I said hat. Eli, it'll make the kids happy to see you wearing the hat. Ugh. So it doesn't really make any sense this last part because I, I don't, there's such a big gap in between me saying that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that part out. The last thing I said was hat, period. Eli, it'll make the kids happy to see you wearing the hat. All right, give it a little bit of breathing room, pause. Okay, so see this bump here on the audio track? That's when I actually say the next part. So let's see when that actually happens on the line. Ugh. So as you heard, I say, ugh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here to where I say, ugh, and there's no caption for ugh. So I'm gonna type here, type subtitle here, then press enter, and I said, ugh. And then press the plus button to add it. I don't know why it added it there. So, excuse me. Okay, so I figured out what I did wrong. So first, remember, make sure this blue box that represents your subtitle, or your caption rather, um, is, you know, corresponding to you actually talking on the video, or in this case, me saying hat. You see you wearing the hat. Hat, okay, so it's done. So what I didn't do before was I didn't make sure that this red line was where my new subtitle is gonna go. So again, I said, ugh, and now I'm going to add it. And ta-da, at first it's really small, and I'm gonna stretch it out over me actually saying, ugh. And let's check that out, make sure that looks good. Ugh. Huh? Perfect. But notice again, so I said, uh, and that didn't get picked up by the auto generated. So we're again, we're going to drag our red line right here. I said, uh, add, make sure it's actually centered over our audio blip here. Let's see. Uh, very good. There we go. Eli says, Happy Fancy Friday! All right, so again, this this got missing. This is missing. Fix that up. What am I saying? There we go. There we go. All right, position our red line. There we go. Add. Stretch it out over, over the, the hill of the audio. Check it. There we go. Eli says, 
Happy Fancy Friday! Okay, so that one is actually a good example of one that just needs a little bit of editing. So first of all, the subtitle or the caption comes in a little late, so I stretch that out and it is missing the word Eli. Eli says, Happy Fancy Friday! All right, now let's watch the whole thing over again. Eli, it'll make the kids happy to see you wearing the hat. Ugh. Huh? There we go. Eli says, Happy Fancy Friday! Perfect! All right, so when we're all done with all of that good hard work, this is an important step. You need to publish your edits. This is what's going to create the true English track. So what we just did didn't get rid of the automatic subtitles, the auto-generated captions, but it added a channel, it added a track, which is just English. And so when you watch this video, you can switch to English and know these aren't auto-generated. These are captions that were proofread, they were checked over, um, and they're good to go. So for anyone who was curious, I had a friend who speaks Korean watch my video and tell me what she thinks happened. Because my theory was that I said something that sounded like Korean. And according to her, when I said E lie at the beginning, it sounded like I was saying the number two E in Korean. Distance learning is such a fun adventure. <laughs> Eli. On a scale from 1 to 10, how excited are you about going back to school? <laughs>